Man, it seems like woke, liberal, SJW Disney just produces failure after failure after failure. It's actually kind of hilarious how they just don't get why people are not seeing their stuff they put out. And that it comes down to the fact that the so-called entertainment they come out with is nothing more than just political uh, leftist, you know, socially liberal, SJW feminist type propaganda, you know, disguised as a you know, family friendly entertainment. And it's funny because every time they do this, it's just failure after failure, but they don't seem to get it. And this is just yet another addition to their long list of woke liberal SJW failures. In this case, the Little Mermaid trailer, the live action, you know, remake, the, soul the soulless live action remake of the uh, Little Mermaid has been disliked in the millions, only if within a few days of it being posted to YouTube. And of course, they blame racism because they basically have race swapped the uh, character to, uh, to a black woman. You know, and it says here on this global news article, uh, it's, it's hilarious. It says, aerial attack, haters come for the Little Mermaid once again. Yeah, instead of actually dealing with the real reason, they just owed racism. <laughs> yeah. It says in the article, some people will simply refuse to see the magic in Disney's upcoming The Little Mermaid live action remake. During the 95th Academy Awards on Sunday, actor... Halle Bailey, who plays the t uh, titular mermaid character Ariel, and Melissa McCarthy, who plays Ur Ursula, introduced the first full-length trailer for the much-anticipated remake. Previously, Disney had released two short teaser trailers that offered only glimpses of, Al uh, sorry, of Ariel and her oceanic companions. Yeah, and those roles are disliking to oblivion as well. Continuing on. The new two-minute trailer, which shows scenes of Ariel saving Prince Eric from drowning in a storm, has been viewed 7.9 million times on YouTube. The feedback online, however, has not been entirely positive, with the trailer garnering, or sorry, garnering around 839,000 dislikes since it was posted on Monday. There are only 165,000 dislikes on the video, and since that, since then, it's been in the millions. It's crazy, but hey, they don't seem to get why. That's the fun part. It says in the article, backlash against the film has existed since the project was announced publicly. When it was reported in 2019 that 22 year old uh, Bailey would play Ariel, there was an instant negative wave of criticism online from those who felt a black woman should not play the iconic mermaid princess. The social media tag, hashtag not my Ariel, trended as a result. YouTube ha as a whole has even opted to disable the site's public dislike counter as a result of the hateful. Uh, barrage on the, on the uh, original teaser trailer which amassed 1.5 million dislikes in the first two days of its September 2022 uh, release. Last month Bailey spoke to the magazine The Face about the racism she's experienced as a result of playing Ariel. Yeah, and, I, and I'm not trying to say to go after the actor, I mean really they have to work with what they're given, but the simple fact of the matter is that while there definitely probably was some racist stuff she had received, you know, the reason why people are mass disliking this in the millions within days of being posted is because of just this woke liberal SJW, essentially virtue signaling, uh, and essentially disgracing their the character as a, to basically turn this, this classic, this animated classic into a soulless woke SJW live action so-called remake, you know. See, most people who are disliking this don't have a problem with her as a black woman. They have a problem with this race swapping of the character to virtue signal to the liberal propaganda, the so to basically social liberal propaganda. That's the main issue, you know. And what they do is they'll, they'll do this and then just accuse you of racism if you criticize it. That's kind of how they run. Because they've done this before as well. So, you know, this is just another failure to add to the long list of woke liberal SJW feminist failures that come out of woke liberal SJW Disney. Nothing new, but hey, they're going to keep failing and keep losing money until, if they even do eventually get it, until they do get it, which, like I said, is a big if. So anyway, wanted to point that out. It's fun how they just, how they continually just fit, you know, the, the definition of insanity is trying the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. We're seeing that right here from woke liberal SJW Disney. Anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.